Recent sociolinguistic studies have focused on language variation as represented in mass culture texts. These texts have recently been introduced in school textbooks. The present study explores a teaching intervention involving the critical analysis of the language varieties represented in mass culture texts. Greek mass media tend to confirm the dominance of standard varieties and dismiss local ones so that language homogeneity is upheld. The combination of diverse language varieties is often evaluated as incongruous, hence it is employed for the production of register or stylistic humor. The fact that some language choices are represented in mass culture texts as incongruous points to the implicit presence of specific language ideologies. Language variation until recently was marginalized from the language teaching. Mass culture texts could be considered as suitable for a critical approach to language variation. The critical analysis of mass culture texts in class may raise students' critical language awareness via the elevation of hidden and normalized language ideologies. Critical language awareness involves students' realization that social and sociolinguistic reality is diverse and constantly changing. The enhancement of students' critical language awareness is among the main goals of the multiliteracy model. The present study assesses a teaching intervention based on the multiliteracy model involving the critical interpretation of TV texts. This intervention aims at raising students' critical language awareness in order to become aware of the dominant ideologies reproduced through stylistic humor. The teaching intervention took place in a public elementary school in the prefecture of Ahia in Greece and involved 24 students of the sixth grade. The teaching procedure was conducted according to the cooperative learning. Below, we will focus on group one and two. Group one was the leaders of the class who often questioned their teacher, their classmates and the researcher. Group two consisted of excellent pupils coordinated with the teacher directions and willing to complete successfully their tasks. We focus on the text that these groups produced in the context of the transformed practice. Specifically, the students could be asked to create a video in which they would avoid to reframe language variation humorously. According to the text of Group 1, a father takes his injured daughter to a hospital. One of the most distinguished doctors in the clinic takes care for the girl. However, the father doubts about her skills due to her dialectal accent. His behavior is totally changed after the operation. Then, the father treats the dialect of one doctor with admiration, recognizing finally that she is a known and trustworthy person in the medical field. Students, as script writers, initially represent the father to promote the ideology of language homogeneity. However, successful surgery results in a change of his language attitudes. The students of Group 1 seem to be aware that language homogenization constitutes the dominant ideology, and they attempt consciously to question it. On the contrary, Group 2 continues to reproduce the dominant ideology of language homogenization. This text is a dialogue between two dialectophone speakers, a teacher and a student. This scenario indicates that the students of Group 2 continue to reframe the dialect as odd and deviant in formal circumstances, such as the school. These children, even after the teaching intervention, appear to represent the use of the dialect in the context of the typical teaching as a congruous and humor stigmatized. In conclusion, the students of Group 1, who were able to challenge the people of power and the dominant patterns, reframe the language varieties as non-humorous and question the dominant theologies of language homogeneity. However, Group 2, that was totally coordinated with the dominant school patterns, reproduces the dominant theology of monolingualism and homogeneity. These students represent the language varieties and the dialectophones as humor stigmatized even after the teaching intervention. This element indicates the difficulties of denaturalizing the dominant theologies, especially when a brief critical literacy program is implemented in a school context that explicitly or implicitly enhances the language homogeneity. Thank you.